Heavenly Father, you are the source of all wisdom and strength. Through your word, you guide us and inspire us to follow the path of truth, courage, and faith. Reading 1, Isaiah 50 verses 4 to 9. The Lord God has given me the tongue of those who are taught, that I may know how to sustain with a word him that is weary. Morning by morning he wakens. He wakens my ear to hear as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I turned not backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I hid not my face from shame and spitting, for the Lord God helps me. Therefore I have not been confounded. Therefore I have set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who is my adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, the Lord God helps me. Who will declare me guilty? Lord, like the servant in Isaiah, we trust in your strength when faced with trials and difficulties. Teach us to set our faces like flint, never turning away from your will. Help us to trust that with you by our side. No shame or adversity can overwhelm us. Gospel, Mark 8 verses 27 to 35. And Jesus went on with his disciples to the villages of Caesarea Philippi. And on the way he asked his disciples, Who do men say that I am? And they told him, John the Baptist. And others say, Elijah. And others one of the prophets. And he asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter answered him, you are the Christ. And he charged them to tell no one about him. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. And he said this plainly. And Peter took him, and began to rebuke him. But turning and seeing his disciples, he rebuked Peter, and said, Get behind me, Satan! for you are not on the side of God, but of men. And he called to him the multitude with his disciples, and said to them, If any man would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospels will save it. Jesus, you call us to recognize you as the Christ, the Savior who gave everything for our salvation. Help us to deny ourselves and take up our cross, following you even when the path is difficult. May we never fear sacrifice, for we trust that in losing our life for your sake, we will find true life in you. Heavenly Father, through the cross of your Son, we are called to a life of faith, service, and sacrifice. Help us to walk in his footsteps, carrying our own cross with courage and humility. May our faith shine through in our actions, showing the world your love and grace. Strengthen us to follow you always, trusting that you will never abandon us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.